did have the honor to sit down with the former teammates inside the Bucks locker room, a place they haven't been together in in over 30 years. And once they got going, the memories of Milwaukee started to flow. When we made the trade, it was at the All-Star break. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bob and I were in an elevator, maybe at the All-Star ceremonies that year. And uh, we were coming down, and, and he was like, now nah, if uh, I, I come join you guys, you guys going to pass me the ball, right? I was like, well, I was like well, can you do something with it? He was, like, <laughs> he was like, yeah, I can do something with it. So then I was like, well, you, you done missed about 20 games because you hurt your hand. What, 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 what's, what's wrong with your hand? He said, well, my little pinky right here. I hurt my little, I hurt my little, I hurt my little pinky. I'm like, you hurt your little pinky? You missed it 20 games because you hurt your pinky. <laughs> I said, is this, is this, is this, I'm scarred for life with that guy. It's just the kind of guy, but it, but it was a shooting hand. But no, but uh, but that was kind of and then but then once he got there, I mean, man, this guy Bob Lanier, talk about one of the all-time great people. Don't understand how good Bob Lanier was. Within the first two days I got here, we had practice. None of these guys talk. They don't talk to you at all. <laughs> <laughs> we talk, man. You, you, you got to the point of talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he was the greatest player in our game at that point. Um, he was better than Dr. J. I know that. I don't, they can tell me all they want about Dr. Mm. J. I'd have him on my team in a heartbeat.